have to get drunk to wear this dress. It is Henry. So excited. Ready to party. Hello guys and welcome back to the vlogs. I'm currently bending over like this because I've got you on um, a tissue holder and then two glasses. I've just had to make a makeshift tripod because I'm not at home as you can see I'm in this beautiful bathroom and I'm going to show you the view that I am currently looking at behind this camera That is just stunning of the park. I have just checked into the Royal Lancaster Hotel And I thought I'd actually start filming now and I haven't filmed like I haven't vlogged actually in like a good week or so so I thought I would get back to vlogging and catch up with you guys because it is hen week. It is Monday and it is my hen do on Friday. So this is officially a big prep week because I have checked into the Royal Lancaster Hotel because basically I have got a lot of content I need to film before I go away on my hen do. So this is officially hen week i am so excited um it's literally that me when it's like i'm ready to party but i can't yet party because i've got so much work to do i want to cry um i've been working like the past weekend week and um, days before that hence why i haven't picked up the vlog because i've just been having to focus on that um, so I actually haven't vlogged in like a good week, but I thought I'd pick it up because I've just checked into the hotel I'm going to be filming some content here that I need to get done and try and get through my to-do list and I'm going to get on my full hen prep this week. I have already got my eyebrows and lashes done I got LV out and I got my brow lamination As you can see I've had my hair done. I've gone short again and I know I kept saying I was gonna grow out for the wedding, but when I actually spoke to my hairdresser he was like Chloe it grows up so fast and it does and also whenever it comes to autumn which we are officially in the first week of autumn well the second week now I always like to just go a little bit shorter and I've got all of my blonde back it's feeling fresh I did do a full video of what I get done at the hairdresser so you can see that over on my YouTube shorts my Instagram but I thought I'd catch up with you because yeah, I'm going to be doing full prep. I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. They're very outgrown. And my townhouse, of course, where I love to go, are doing this, um, it's kind of like personalised nail art where you can get like letters. So I thought it would be cool for the hair and to get like Mrs. Litrus or something. I don't know. We'll see. So I'll take you along with me on that. And then I have got everything else to do. I've got a pack. I've got to sort all my outfits. I've got a pack. I've pretty much sorted my outfit. So I did go shopping last week which I'm going to cut into and show you some dresses that I tried on from her because you guys may know I always use her or by rotation and I love to rent dresses when it comes to occasions. I've done it so many times for weddings and it's just so much more cost effective and sustainable. So I went in and I tried some pieces on but I literally had to run after it to my Pilates class so I didn't have a lot of time. So I'm going to cut into that. I'm going to share with you some of the outfits that I did try on because if you're a hen or a bride-to-be or... You're a friend of a hen and you're planning it. These are some maybe great options. And I know you guys have been asking for all the hen outfits. So here it comes in this vlog. I'm gonna be sharing everything that I'm taking on the hen and I've been picking up. I need to do some last minute errands. I need to do some last minute orders. You girls know how it is. It takes a village to get me ready before I go away for any holiday, never mind my hen. So eyebrows are done. Brow lamination. I've literally got nothing on them at the minute, but um my Nouveau Brow Serum. I've got LVL lashes, my hair's done, nails are tomorrow. I'm gonna do my tan. I've done one layer already. This is the Tan Lux Express Mousse. You guys know how much I use this tan. I use it every week and I put it on this morning. It's actually developing. I'm gonna insert a picture of before because I was looking crusty this morning. So I'm doing like a layer today and then I'm gonna to top it up on Thursday so I'm ready. Yeah, so let me just actually pick you up because I'm bending over here. So there's lots to catch you up on and lots to do this week for the hen. So I thought I'd bring you along with me and I think I'm gonna vlog the hen do. 
I don't know how well it's gonna go. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog. I hold myself accountable to this, but I have decided I'm gonna try as much as I can to bring you guys along with me. I don't know where I'm going. So all of my girls have planned it. I know we're going abroad. We're going somewhere in Europe, I believe. It's gonna be sunny. They've told me the weather forecast is hot because obviously I needed to know what to pack. I know we're doing kind of like a boat day. So it's like rosé, day drinking vibes, which is definitely me. And then one of the themes one night was secret night, which is what I was struggling to find with a dress. So I'm gonna clip in to last week when I went shopping of the dresses, and then I'm gonna clip back into now and give you a room tour and bring you up to speed with what I'm doing. I was really trying on a lot of dresses in a very short amount of time so I had to run afterwards in my Chanel ballet flats to my Pilates class I think I made it within the nick of time so I didn't actually get anything from her but I'm gonna try go back tomorrow and see if there's any other kind of like backup options because do you know about you you know you feel like I've got my outfits but I'm scared that I don't have enough or I don't have backup options or if something breaks because I've learned that before when I went to a wedding my dress ended up being super see-through and thank god I packed, up a, I packed a backup dress so I feel like I need to do that and just kind of do those last minute errands I need to get lashes, some toiletries but I've actually been getting some new beauty products which I'm going to share with you and I finally got my Space and K discount code which I'll share as well. But before I do, let me give you a room tour because it's so beautiful here. And firstly, look at this view that I've been looking at whilst chatting with you guys. It's just stunning. So I'm in the lovely park suite and you can see from the view in the background Hyde Park which is just absolutely stunning especially this time of year in autumn and I came in and they've got little cakes which I'm going to dig into these are madeleines and a bottle of champagne I mean it is a Monday but why not it is officially my hen week so Chris is going to come later just for a few hours we're going to have dinner together so I'll pop this open then because I do not want to be drinking before I've got to shoot this content but I just need to give you a quick peek how stunning honestly this just makes me fall in love with London even more you can see all the skyline of London over here and the beautiful park it's just so pretty so the room literally swoops round the whole building which is just insane so I've got this whole lounge area to myself so tonight I'm gonna put on Gossip Girl and Harry Potter and sit here with my laptop and work all evening and it's just gonna be lush the one thing I didn't bring and I forgot was a candle I love to always bring a candle with me but look at the view it's just stunning and there's literally mirrors everywhere so it just reflects all of the light it's beautiful and the lighting right now is stunning so definitely need to get filming and doing all my content but i'm just going to lead you through this is very random this little mini it's like a walk-in wardrobe kind of thing so you've got the wardrobe space here which is actually really decent so if you're staying here for a few days there's so much room there's basically double side um wardrobes and then how stunning is this bathroom i just love all the marble it's so clean it's just aesthetically pleasing it's got the double mirror here and imagine if you just get ready in the morning to this view which i'm very excited for and there's a nice bath so i'm going to take a soak later 
have some time for myself once I've finished working and then a walk-in shower and all the amenities as well are white company which is chef's kiss it's the flowers and they also have the um, hand cream and stuff over here and then through here I've just got a very simple outfit on today just t-shirt jeans and then my H&M check blazer over the top another mirror in case I need another mirror and then this is the bedroom excuse my mess already I've just quickly put this off because I was so hot um traveling over here and then again you can see it, literally all of the windows wrapped around the room which is beautiful I'm gonna get out of my t-shirt and jeans I'm feeling really hot and because I faked hand as well I feel like I've been sweating more um so I'm gonna get in the robe I'm gonna do another layer of tan and then I'm going to show you some new and beauty products and toiletries that I've picked up to take with me to wherever it is I'm going. Because I feel like whenever I go abroad, I always like to make sure I've got definitely my SPF, which I've been using this new one, by the way. It's the Unseen Screen. It's the Super Goop. So it actually comes out clear. I'm getting way off track here. I've got so much work to do that I need to film. And I'm just here getting excited about showing you all my new beauty products I'm taking on my head with me, but I'll show you everything else. That's basically super goop, it's completely clear, so it's like a primer. So I've been using that and I thought it'd be good under makeup and stuff for the Hendo, so I'm not like, my pores won't get clogged up, but I know I've got my SPF on. So I'm gonna show the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna stop rambling on, and I'm gonna stop procrastinating and get some work done. It's a few hours later, and I've just done another layer of the tan, this is it, it's the Express Mousse, and then I also use the Tan Lux Mitt. Honestly, it's a game changer. I feel like you can see already the tan has started to develop from when I last spoke to you, because I've had this on since this morning, and then I've done an extra layer. I don't usually do an extra layer, it's just I want to be extra tanned for my hen do. You can see it is not transferred on this white robe, and I've been wearing this all afternoon. It has no transfer because it's water-based and it also has vitamin C in, which helps to even out your skin tone as well, which I love and brighten it. So I'll show you the full results, like a before and an after, because honestly, I swear by this tan. And whilst I'm here, I thought I would share with you the products that I got from Space and K that I'm gonna be taking away with me as well. So I got some top-ups of my Hourglass favorite, which you may have seen in my last vlog i did kind of like a breakdown of my everyday makeup and i use this ambient foundation it's so good i've got shade eight and then i've got the concealer as well this is shade oat and mist in the phantom lip balm which you can see it really does like plump your lips i've had this on for hours and actually it's stayed this is on top of my charlotte tilbury combo that i always wear and space and case stock charlotte tilbury as well so it literally stocks like all my favorite brands charlotte tilbury hourglass i also got the by terry brightening cc serum i'll show you this on in the morning obviously because i've got makeup on at the minute but i wanted to have this as like a base that i don't have to wear makeup if we are doing like a boat day, which they've kind of hinted at, I think this would be great for it. And then over the top, use the SPF that I showed you before. And that's like a good priming base as well if we were to go out at the night time or whatever we're doing. I feel so weird because I'm such a control freak and not knowing what we're doing is killing me. I got a top up of my flawless filter. I got shade five. I use this product every single time I put my makeup on. And again, I'll probably be mixing it these two as like my base and I'm on holiday. And then I got these one one skin face masks. I know these are a little bit more on the expensive side, but these are the deep puffing ones. So I thought every morning, whack one of these babies on and it will help because I get so puffy after I've been drinking and I'm gonna be dehydrated. So I thought, girl, you need to invest in some good face masks to help the skin. So I got the cryo one, puffing. Then I've also heard such good things about this. As you can see, I've been using it. It's the Drunk Elephant Peptide Moisturizer and I've actually been mixing it. I haven't got it with me here, with my Tan Lux Face Drops. So you just do a pump, it comes out, so you get the perfect amount. And then I mix it on here with the tan and it's just a 
great way to use, like mix your moisturizer with your tan and use it every day so i've actually been loving this it's the drunk elephant one and then i also got a top up of my ren toner which is great for my pigmentation and brightening your skin and i think that is everything that i got from space nk so you can use the discount code gets you 20 percent off site wide and i've also made a wish list this isn't an ad by the way I am working with them over on Instagram, but I did generally, like I've been saying in the vlogs, pick these products up and save 20% off because I needed a top up before I went away and I wanted to try some new products as well. So I've put a wish list together, some other products I've kind of got in my basket and I'm in an R and about and want to try out. So I'll leave a link down below for them, which you can also save the 20% off on. I'll obviously pick up in the morning when I'm getting my nails done, I'm gonna go to Pilates and everything else to prep for this week. So I'm gonna start packing tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Look at this beautiful view. I didn't really do a get ready with me this morning. I got up, well I went to bed really late because I was editing and doing some work and then got a hair on my lip and then I woke up really early, went down for breakfast, I was going to order it to the room and I thought actually no I love a good buffet. So I went down and I've basically been <laughs> filming and working all morning so I haven't really had a chance to pick up the camera but I'm ready now, I'm going to actually show you in this so you can see it kind of full length but I've got my Abercrombie jacket on, I featured this in my last haul, oh my god the placement of this right now. This is obviously just water when I was leaning against the sink. My trusty Arquette tee and then my new grey trousers that I got from H&M. Again, I featured this in my recent haul. I've got these in every single colour. This is really putting me off. Um, they come out every year on H&M. They're £20, well £19.99 to be exact. And they've lasted me for years and years. So I got them in the grey pair. I've got my Prada Bali flats on, my Demilier bag. The sun's going in and out, so I've got my Celine Sunnies. I've also got these new gorgeous earrings from Monica Venado, which I've actually been picking up some new pieces. You guys know I always wear the jewellery. And that is it, basically. I've got my bag. I'm going to go get my nails done. This is them before. And can you see my tan, how much it's developed overnight? I actually showered last night before bed, and then it continues to develop. And I woke up glowing. So I'm going to do one more layer probably Thursday, the night before I go. But I'm going to go and run all my appointments today around the city, go back, and then tomorrow we will start packing. It is two days later and yes, let's address the elephant in the room. I look not so cute right now. I've got pimple patches on because I basically had to book an extra seat on the flight for my friends here because I have broken out so bad over the last few days. I think it's just purely down to stress and I've not been sleeping and it is just really not given right now so I'm doing everything I can I've been doing loads of skincare to help it like loads of salicylic acid and I've put these pimple patches on here and I'm just gonna let my skin breathe today because it's not looking cute but I feel like you always need to kind of like not look so cute the day before to then have the glow up hopefully for tomorrow because that is when I'm going to be leaving so I'm picking the camera back up because I'm in the midst of packing and I want to show you everything that I'm packing also I forgot to show you my nails once they're finished but sadly I have taken this one off let's not address the um, tan situation I basically wash my hands far too much and it's faded slightly so I've just done another layer so do not worry it'll be fine tomorrow but let me show you here we are, you can see a little bit better here, but you can see obviously the R, which was here, has come off. So I need to buff this nail and just like polish it so it looks fresh again. But I've got the C and the L, which looks very cute. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. I think it's just a really like cute twist 
on a French mani and I thought it was perfect for the hen to have the personable um, initials. So I've got some of my accessories here. I actually have three veils, which sounds excessive, but I know I'm going to wear probably all three of them. I've had this one for a while. This one's actually from Nasty Gal and it has a cute little bow at the top, as you can see here. And then it has the netting, which makes it kind of like stick out a little bit more. Gigi and Olive have sent me so many beautiful accessories. I've got a whole box downstairs, which I'm going to share, but I could only get so much out of it because the girls have put me under strict orders not to look at the bottom half because... I, I'm guessing there's clues in there and it's all for the girls as well but these were addressed to me on the top as bride-to-be so Gigi and Olive just do the best accessories when it comes for brides and hens and all the different themes they have on there as well so the girls have actually picked all of this out so I didn't pick it um, so I kind of had no clue so it was fun when it came and opened it so I've got this gorgeous linen bow the quality is beautiful but how cute honestly feels so weird even seeing it never mind it's saying it my new name to be so I've got this lovely bow for my hair and it just easily clips in so I think I'm going to wear this to travel then they've also sent me this sweater to travel which I absolutely love I kind of wish actually I got the blue to match um but I'm guessing a lot of the accessories are going to be pink that the other girls have got hence why they did this one but the sweater is so soft and I feel like this is so cute to travel in. Maybe with some like biker shorts, some denim shorts. I've also ordered some white ones on ASOS to see how they're going to look. Or maybe just some like tracksuit kind of bottoms. So I'll play around with my travel outfit but I just love this. And then on the front it's a half sip. It's honestly so comfy. And it says she's a classic. So they actually have a lot of... Um, hen accessories with this logo on which I actually loved I'm not sure if the girls have picked up the rest like they have some like cups and stuff and little um, other kind of bits and bobs so I just thought this is going to be perfect to travel in tomorrow with the bow and I'll figure the rest of the look out. I've actually had um, some of my accessories for ages now. Like this bag was from Studio by Charlotte. I thought this is going to be perfect to match with my looks. I've got some of my white sunnies that I've had. These are the Desi Perkins ones. And then Gigi and Olive have also sent some other bits. And they've come in this beautiful packaging. So it's really good for me to just pack these. In here is another veil. I believe this is one of the bow ones. But I don't know if the bows actually come on this one. I think this one's more of a plain one with this bottom part to it so it kind of has this embroidery on the bottom and it's a little bit shorter this and then I've also ordered another one from six stories so that is that so I'll put in there and then in here I also have a bum veil which the girls have got me which I'm guessing is to put on my swimsuit for the boat day I've been told so let me just get this out to show you so it's quite long at the bottom it's got this tall material and then the big bow here so this can just clip on to my swimsuit which I'll show you which I'm packing and then they also sent me these feather gloves which are going to be perfect with one of my outfits for one of the evenings. I'll actually show you these accessories that they've sent for me which I just thought was so lovely and I'll link them all down below as well. Okay, as you saw the mood boards, well me just planning my outfits. Here they all are on the rails. I've just kind of put some of the accessories next to them to see how it's going to look. I'm also waiting on two parcels to arrive. One is kind of like a pearly, sparkly cover-up dress. I've got some other heels coming, some other accessories like headwear. But for now, I'm just going to show you the main outfits and what I'm going to be packing for the sake of time. So, I've had some new dresses in from House of CB. I've actually recently wore this. I don't think I'm going to wear it, but I'm just going to pack it in case as a backup option. So I thought it was a beautiful, like, white, creamy lace number... And yeah, I just thought I'm going to pack it just in case. This is my sequin number. So I finally found one. My friend actually sent me a link to a dress on Opoly and I loved it. But I had a look on their website and found this one with a little tall skirt, which is so cute. I mean, me holding it up like this probably isn't doing it justice. So you will see all of these outfits on and over on social media, I'm sure, very soon. So I thought this would be the really cute one for the sparkly night. It's long sleeve and I just loved the colour of this tall skirt as well with it. I thought this was just very me. Then this little one is for the black and white night I'm going to wear it. I've just put my 
nude body underneath to remember to pack it but this is actually from Revolve it's from a brand called Rumor and I thought this was a little bit different it's this kind of sheer material with the embroidery going through it and again it's not doing it justice like this I did quickly take a snap of me trying it on but again you're going to see this properly styled up I'm thinking a bow in my hair I've got my white gloves to go alongside this and accessorize it some lovely nude sparkly heels so I thought this would be really cute for the black and white night and us just all kind of like have bows in our hair and just very me and then I had a bit of a disaster guys I left it till last minute to get my dresses altered and he has butchered my dresses look how short this is these are from house of cb two beautiful dresses which i was planning on wearing on friday night and it is so short so this is the scoop back bow dress so it's lovely little front it comes down low waist here very on trend at the minute but look how he's butchered the skirt this needs to be two inches longer because I don't even think this is going to cover my butt cheeks and then it's got a big bow at the back but obviously hung up like this doesn't really show you the full picture it's so short I honestly I'm gonna to have to get drunk to wear this dress because I don't know how I'm gonna pull it up and then he's done the exact same with this dress I kind of want to cry because I was really excited to wear these look look at this he's taken four and a half inches off it the bottom it's meant to scoop low and then it's meant to scoop at the back and he has absolutely butchered my house of CB dresses I take this one as a backup I wore this for my engagement shoe I love this one from by Melina I actually had this one taken up as well but this one does fit really great so I just thought I'd take this little ruffle number in case for Friday night I've got this Hunza G swimsuit I've had this since the beginning of the summer and I got it really early purely for the fact that I was scared it was going to sell out but I've actually seen it on revolve it's come back in stock it's got the lovely scoop back and look at the little frill peplum going around the waist it's so flattering and it's needless to say how comfy Hunza G swimsuits are and I thought this would just be perfect for around the wedding as well I'm definitely going to get my cost per wear out of this swimsuit and it's just so flattering and comfy also packing my Nadine Marabi PJs and they've got the lovely feather trim on the cuffs and also on the trousers as you can see and the pearl detail buttons I thought these would be really cute just to lounge around in obviously at night and also on the Friday night I think we're going to do like pizza and Prosecco once we get to the villa so I thought these are great to pack I've also got some other PJs that I'm surprising the girls with I don't know if I've mentioned before which are currently on the way so they're all going to be embroidered and we can be matching but I wanted to pack these ones as well with the little feather details then I've got this long beach cover-up which will go over my Hunza G swim which I thought would be perfect for the boat day it's got a little kind of open back this is actually from Under the Stories I do believe they bring this out every year but it's a great beach cover-up then I'm also going to take this one from Arquette again just to kind of lounge around when we're around the pool and just for breakfast and just all those little things that you just need to quickly put something on so I got this recently from Arquette I've just attached one of the um, veils to the back of it to remind me to pack it as well these are really good dupe of my jimmy chews now i do actually have these jimmy chews as you guys know i was very kindly gifted them for my wedding but i want to keep them for my wedding and i don't want to wreck them so i got a cheaper dupe version which i thought would be perfect for the hen they've got the bows at the back rather than like one at the back and one at the front but i actually wore these for my engagement party and i've kept them pretty clean so i thought this would be great for the hen do as well so I've got most of my pieces here. It's all looking very bridal. It's all looking very white. So I'm going to start packing these, all of my accessories and everything else that I need to pack. There's so many bits and bobs. I don't know if this is like type A personality but I've made a checklist of everything I've just checked off like 10 items so this is becoming shorter but I, I realize I actually need to add a lot to this so many little bits and bobs that I need to think about but I feel like this way then I know hopefully I won't be missing anything 
I've also got all these cute little accessories. Like I've got a little slip bride um, sleep mask, which I think I'm probably gonna need. So I thought that was quite cute to take. I've got this little basket bag that Mika got me, some slippers, scrunchies that I've packed all in a separate little, um, where have I put it? Here, like my little packing cubes. So this is gonna be all of my accessories, so I know that so they're together. I've pretty much packed the majority. I've got my bags in here. I've also packed my YSL Hobo bag. I've got all my jewelry packed in this. So I've packed my Chanel earrings, some of my other kind of like pearly rings, pearly earrings, chunky rings, my bracelets. I've got some necklaces, big statement earrings, and then some other Chanel's in here as well so these are all of my accessories just easy together i've got like my tan my body moisturizers my charlotte tilby like body highlighter my makeup my lashes my big tripod other heels and then in here i've got like sunnies perfumes all like bits and bobs like ibuprofen headbands and then in here i'm going to put like all of my other bits like for my tripod and my lights and stuff that i'm going to need and then this is everything else. And then I've packed in a hat here, but I wedged it around some of my swimwear. And then all of my like bridal accessories are packed in this packing cube. So that is the majority. I'm waiting on some last minute orders and I'm getting worried now. It's like four o'clock, they haven't come. So I'm just waiting about and then I'm gonna go and get my pedicure done. But I think I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. I've still got a lot to pack. I've got to do like all of my toiletries and everything else. But I've got so much to do, I'm panicking, and I've also got to edit this and get it live before I go away. And my friend Chloe is going to be here in a few hours, and I'm going to cook us dinner and have a nice girly night. I've got loads of little snacks, and we can get all prepared. We can do our face masks, have a little bit of a pamper night. So... I'm very excited. I am pretty much going to leave the vlog off here, I think, because I've kind of shown you everything, and... You don't want to be seeing this face anymore until I've got my glow on, hopefully, tomorrow. I am so excited. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight, but I'm going to see you guys on the other side and finally find out where I'm going to be going. So we fly around midday tomorrow and we're all flying separately. So me, Chloe and my friend Leah are all going to be flying together and then all of the other girls because they're coming from like different places are all flying in at different times that's the only thing that i do know i just don't know where we're flying into so it is all going to be happening tomorrow i will pick up the vlog then and i'll officially start my hen do vlog make sure to subscribe so you do not miss it please do give this a like if you enjoyed it and seen all of like my prep for the hen and packing everything and I'll try and link everything I can down below and of course you'll be seeing all of the outfits in the hen do vlog, how I'm going to be styling them and where we're going to be and what we get up to. So I will see you guys on the other side. Bye.